Well, first of all, I want to thank uh, All India Football Federation because uh, when you talk about grassroots and youth, there's a huge demand. If you look at Mumbai, 1400 teams from the schools, you have 265 teams in the university level, college level or more. You have 350 clubs only in Mumbai. And uh, what are the opportunities upward is something that is a big question mark. But I think uh, in the last three years, AIF has done a fantastic job actually in the youth system, where they've come out with the youth uh, programs of under I didn't pay him, huh? I didn't pay him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but but you're doing it afterwards, right? So <laughs> <laughs> it's an annual contract. No, I, I have to credit, you know, because uh, it's very important when it comes to demand supply, there's a huge demand for the opportunity. And EIFF came up with a brilliant idea of under 13, under 15, under 18. And that, that's the league that kids look about. Today, every parent comes to me and asks me, what is the pathway? I think three years back, we didn't have a pathway for them. Yeah. And uh, all of a sudden, you have a pathway, under 13, under 15. This is a three-band uh, three uh, uh, system. We want to go and get into a single band where you have the under 10s, 12, 13, 14, 15, right up to 17, which eventually we will... We will get on to it. But looking at Maharashtra as a whole, we're talking about 6 to 17 years of age group. We have got 11.5 million boys. We've got 10 million girls. It's a 21.5 million. And what we have, we have not even reached out to the entire 35 districts. And it's such a huge, uh, huge area that we, we're looking forward. But yes, today we have opportunities. But what's, what's happening? If you have opportunities, we have got the mass of children, we don't have coaches. So Maharashtra went on with a rampant uh, idea of getting in coaches and D-licenses were introduced first in Maharashtra by Western India Football Association, where today we talk about 3,500 coaches, 2,500 grassroots leaders. And uh, this has become a part of the economics because it has given birth to uh, employment for coaches. Every center has come out over there. But what has happened with the club licensing criteria? It's very few of them who get on to the top. And that's where the, the, uh, the area where we talk about talent, people go. Because from small academies, people want to go to the academy, which is going into the I League. And that's, that's, the, that's the area which uh, is very, very popular right now. And uh, I hope that state associations like he's saying, it's so difficult. We have go from 11 to 21 states they've gone. It's a difficult task because the state association is running on an honorary system. There's no accountability. Because if you go into asking them, they feel that they're giving in their time for, for football. And that time is very precious. That time would be two hours or three hours in a day. But we want a full-time uh, secretary for every state. If we want to grow into football, to create a football culture, and if you can do that, I think AFF is the only body in India which can motivate states, which can motivate districts. With a simple FIFA AFF program, I think they have motivated 11 states to get into this activity. And I think a stamp of AFF on a state association means big. And I'm, I'm sure there are other stakeholders who, who are in the system who go with, uh, with lovely programs. I think uh, Jitu is over here. He's got Mumbai Games on the roll. He works with the Kalo India, Fit India movement. Uh, Nilesh is a, a guy who comes in with a lot of resources in management. And I think all the stakeholders getting together, this is going, we want to, we want to put up an aim or objective is to create resources and we want to make a culture right from the age of four. And I think uh, we're not far enough. And I think AIFF, whether it is uh, La Liga or whether it is EPL or Bundesliga or name it, I think everybody's going to add on to that because kids want to play and parents want to know what will they do by going on the ground. They asked me a question, this is a big question that is asked by parents and some time back we didn't have answers but today I think all credit goes to AIFF. The under-17 World Cup was a catalyst. It was a catalyst because that's where everybody started getting attracted. There is something that to see forward. And the under-17 woman is going to be huge because it's going to create a social impact on, on the woman empowerment in the state, actually for Maharashtra. But in country, I think it's going to be a huge impact, this girls' tournament. And I'm sure 
that step by step AIFF has grown uh, louder than uh, what we can think and I'm sure that all stakeholders will get into to make, make us proud to India to get into the map of the world.